For the given function, we're going to write an equation for the inverse function, then graph the function and its inverse on the same axis, and finally, give the domain and range of the function and its inverse. We'll start by finding the inverse of the given function. There are three steps to doing this. Step one, swap or interchange x and y. Step two, solve for y. And step three, replace y with inverse notation form. So let's start with step one to swap x and y. We know that f of x is the same thing as y, so we're gonna remove this and replace it with an x. We're gonna remove the x and replace it with a y. When we do so, it's gonna look like so. Next, we're gonna move on to the next step, which is to solve for y. So to solve for y, right now, y is underneath the radical. So we need to remove this enclosure of this radical. To do that, we do the opposite. The opposite of square root is to square a number. So let's square the right side. Now, you know what the rules of equation says, whatever you do to one side, you must do to the other. So we need to square both sides. That reverse process is gonna allow us to bring down y plus five all by itself. Last step to solving for y is to subtract five. And here we have solve for y. Now you're gonna remove y. And step three says to replace it with the inverse notation form. And there you have the inverse of the given function. And now we're gonna graph the function and its inverse on the same axis. We'll start with the original function. Uh, notice this is the parent function, the square root function uh, that has been shifted five units to the left. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and sketch that graph. It's gonna look like so. And now we're going to um, sketch the uh, inverse. Now this inverse is the parent function, the quadratic function that has been shifted uh, five units down. Uh, now normally it is uh, the domain there would be all real numbers uh, from negative infinity to positive infinity, uh, but we have to restrict it to match the domain that comes with um, the original function here. Uh, so that would be um, all of the numbers that are zero and positive because in a square root function, recall that you can only take the square root of numbers that are zero uh, or positive. So that means that um, our function is going to look like so uh, once we graph it. And again, uh, we don't just look at the formula for the inverse, but we, we have to look at the original function to know where it started and what values are allowed in the domain.